Okay. Oh, interesting. So Kino going uh, Poke Pikachu Libre, which I'm more, way more used to seeing him play. I wonder on what he was trying to counterpick by not playing his normal main. Yeah, this like, is. What was he expecting? You two? I don't know. I mean, that's the thing about playing so many characters in a game like this is that sometimes your counterpick goes wrong, and this is definitely a matchup that a lot of Libre players do not like. Yeah. Bobby pretty much is just like, well, no matter who you pick, the champ time. <laughs> yeah. But not working out for him too well so far. I mean, this is a matchup that can uh, easily go either way in like several seconds, right? I mean, it just yeah, reads and reads. Go. Yep, there we go. Defense buff can help a little bit there. That helped a lot more than I thought it was actually. <laughs> yeah, it looked, I think it was under 100 damage there. What? Okay. Ah, got uh -oh. out. Very nice. Definitely not enough to kill, but it should renew the speed debuff. And of course, take back to field. So this is a very good opportunity now for Kino. Oh, wait. This is, is this backwards or is, is this, this right? Backwards? I don't or, know. Wait, it's, I don't know. They, they both picked weird characters. Yeah. I actually don't know anymore. I just saw Pikachu and assumed oh, no, no. it must be Kino. Kino, Kino is playing um, Machamp. I just saw him shake his head after he got hit. I right see. There. So, okay, so we had it back. This is yeah, very strange. I'm definitely thrown off. <laughs> All right, <laughs> already is a weird start, but that's cool. All right, so yeah, like I said, the only nine seconds left. This is a great time to play lame, and the counterattack is going to pierce. And so it looks like. Fabulous is going to take. I've been watching their matches, both of them, the entire tournament, and I've not seen either of them pick either of these characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so maximum range. Beautiful and, and right the there. Champ's so explosive if he gets in. We've seen Fabi get out twice already with, with the champ in, and here we go. That's the third time he's gotten out. And if you have heart problems, like, that's the only time your heart feels okay <laughs> is when you somehow get out of the champ's pressure. Yeah, you deserve one moment to breathe in the entire matchup. And he's keeping it going, going to keep the damage going. Will he be aggressive here? I wonder. Yeah, he's gonna stay in. Whoa. Oh, the confidence. All right, now I think you gotta back out a little bit. I mean, if you take risks here, it is a dangerous spot. Looking for a safe time to get out. He's trying to get him to scout the back dash by just doing like little stutter steps and then doing it late. Oh, Ooh, nice cancel. Try to bait out the first sec. Oh, no! Very, very fortunate that he stopped it there. Yeah, that is gonna be big. All right, still doesn't manage to get a huge uh, field transition right there. This shouldn't catch. Okay. Kino's got to get something going right now. He's got the great positioning to make it happen. What? Oh, I don't what? know. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Did he just low profile 2Y? I didn't know that. Someone in the chat knew that, I'm sure. But I didn't know that. I've never seen that happen. He One ducked under seven. Machamp's 2Y. 2Y, as in low. Tiny little Libre. Oh, there's 2Y working. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, again, 2Y finally, finally going to steal it. Man, every time I commentate Pokémon, I see something I've never seen before. Every tournament for Pokémon, every like match almost, I see something new. There's a <laughs> lot of weird interactions that you wouldn't know of unless you've actually seen it happen. But uh, Kino definitely taking control way better that last time. Oh, nice. Oh, oh no. Oh, man, he was so ready for the option. Yeah. Like, he was just probably, like, just ready for it. He just mashed it at that moment, just in case. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very similar to the Lucario Bone Rush off the flex. Oh, man, these two Ys are working so well. Yeah, definitely really changing up. Goes right under, very nice, making use of the champs, one of his uh, newer options. <laughs> New-ish. New-ish, yeah, 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 yeah. Time's gone by. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't I know, feel like we've been playing DX for over a year. You're right. It's been it's been like a almost like a year and a half now. Yeah. But oh nice, beautiful with punish. It's gonna be a crit. Alright, this is a close game. Both of them are holding their burst. Like they're just like playing chicken with it. Here's the first one. Alright, so the, the fear Jirachi. The fear here is that now we can just see Libre back up and oh no, this is gonna waste so much time. We're gonna see the slowdown here, and I think we're just gonna see a very defensive Please. field phase from Libre. Libre can just run away. There yeah, you he's go. Out of here. Try and catch me. Yeah, <laughs> the champs options are not too great here. Yeah, specifically just because oh, of this. Oh, so oh, because of the run defense. Yeah. As we learned years back in SoCal <laughs> with Angbat quitting the game, <laughs> that affects the jump X quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, like, like it's technically considered a homing attack, so. Yeah, it is. It's very interesting, but true. Man, he tried to tap him. Oh, that might be it. I think it would have been a little bit more damage had he done Wild Charge, but it still could be enough. Ooh. No, not quite. All right. I mean, the chances of him winning are pretty, okay, literally impossible it's, now. Yeah, there is, yeah, I mean, literally no way at this point. I don't know. Sit there, do scary face. But the you know, uh, who's been timing people out the whole tournament gets timed out. Yeah, so th th here's the way that this matchup can, uh, it, neither side likes this matchup because as Libre, 
you have to make a lot of reads against Machamp, which is weird because normally Libra doesn't have to make that many reads against anybody, right? Uh, but you you know, Machamp has higher damage and higher uh, health. So overall, it can be uh, a kind of uphill battle as far as damage goes. But if Libre manages to get the lead, we see things like that, where we see the speed debuff that is yeah. almost always on people as soon as Libre gets the lead because of Capitalizing on his timer scam ability really makes it tough. And he's going to go right back to his mid. I think he just didn't see the character pick he was expecting. Yeah. Like, yeah. he definitely got thrown off by the Libre pick. But uh, this will probably be a much more comfortable matchup for him. Uh, again, though, I don't. I'm not really sure exactly what matchup he really wouldn't want to go Pikachu in. I know earlier he was telling me he doesn't like Pikachu versus Mewtwo. Okay, so I think he was expecting a Mewtwo. Yeah, I could, it's, it's entirely possible. Honestly, it's entirely uh, personal preference at that point. But you're seeing a good start. Of course, Pikachu Libre, one of the most momentum-based characters in the game. Yeah, good without it. But every time I see this character, I see Super Turbo Ryan running at me. <laughs> every time. Like, it's that kind of momentum. <laughs> Shout out to Super Turbo Ryan. Not his best performance. No, but, no. Know. What's the throw? Here we go. There's that momentum. Whoa, Whoa, man. The tricky movement from both of them. I can't oh. explain anything I just saw, that, okay? Okay, so the weirdest thing I, I've seen was, was in, mid Eight Y right there. The, the field angle, or sorry, the dual angle shifted. I don't know if you saw that. They were back to the wall and it shifted sideways. I've never seen that happen before. Man, they, these two players are so good that they're actually glitching out the game multiple <laughs> times. I'm still not over the two Y from the champ. <laughs> the duck under. I don't know what happened, dude. All right, wow, it turned around again just now. By the way, the camera. The the Pikachu is too small. It's too hard to keep track of them. Again, we're seeing Fabi playing that kind of keep out game. He's probably gonna look for a way to jump out here. Oh, oh, that was an incredible JDCR with punish. with the perfect electric. And, and to with it. punish a 5x from Libra. I've never even seen that really like with punish. Kino is so good with the electric. But then again, this might just be not enough time. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. He does have a chance here. Oh, he DP. Yeah, yeah that is it. definitely it. More than enough time. I like that, too. He actually threw out a discharge at the very end of the round just to build a little bit more synergy. For I mean, might as well, right? Yeah, he knew that there was definitely. just going to be a timeout. It's like 1%, but hey, 1% is a ton in fighting games. We all know that. Kino's just going to have to make something happen. The big thing is that he's been having so much trouble getting the early lead in every single round we've watched. Oh, well, there, there we, we go. go. This is his chance to get an early lead started and not let Poppy play the keep away resource game. Yeah, Oki off of Nuzzle is really good, but manages to get out of the corner. Look at the movement by both of these players. <laughs> This is so wild. This is a, a treat, you know. This is not a matchup you will ever see in SoCal, you know. So this is really a treat right now. That's true. We used to once upon a time, but all our Pikachu's are gone. That was Ooh. a confirm. And of course, Libra is one of those characters you can play however you want. There's Super right, Lame Ryan go. sometimes. There's Forest, who is all out craziness. Oh, this could be punished. He oh, waved no. to us. He waved to the crowd. <laughs> Getting some meter in the process. All right, so here's his chance to turn it around. I think Bobby's going to opt to stay in here. Go for some sort of 50-50. No, he's going to stay out. That's really risky. I mean, at this point, Kino can play really safe. They both have burst. Oh, wow. That yeah, was now he's already turned around the lead, and you know, this is where it starts. He ran forward to make him spend it. That's what he wanted. He wanted him to spend it first. Ooh, he's going to get here. Take him to town. He's got the defense buff. Yeah, this should do very, very little damage. But at the very least, it's going to... Oh, wow. That did actually more than I thought it would. I mean, still not a huge health character, but it's also, of course, going to give a little bit of Oki. Bobby with Rage now and his burst on deck. He can, I mean, he probably will spend two to spend it. Oh, he gets hit. All right. I wonder if that was a missed assist call. Like, he was reacting to the jump, but he was just a frame too late. I think so. I think I think so. I, I'm pretty sure he would have, at the very least, tried to spin out burst had he not uh, getting caught off guard right there. I think that was a drop shield assist call for the anti-air. I believe it. All right, but again, a good early start for uh, Kino. You know, and something I got to say about Kino that I've been watching the whole day, his reactions are insane. <laughs> Insane! I've seen him react to stuff I could never react to in a million years like that. That was an incredible <laughs> punish. Like that. CADC through into just frame 6Y. Everything about that was beautiful. And look, now he's got the lead. Yeah, he this, can play this man doesn't miss his electrics, ever. JDCR of Pokémon right now. <laughs> oh, no. All right, could've, that could have been a lot worse. Uh, the tech didn't actually stop the homing attack, so it was only a homing attack, not a chance to get the uh, charge. All right, and now we're in that really uh, tough situation again. Bobby has the lead. Kino does not have any burst meter. Oh, you can burst through this? Oh, no, I'm surprised. Then he's not trying that at all. So when, when Umbreon activates, you can burst on reaction and then use your iframes of your burst to punish it. And that could have potentially been game, but I could not believe Kino just found a way out of that and got enough meter. 
get his own going. No, he got hit! Oh, oh, oh he didn't get hit! Oh, no, he did! That was a... What a weird confirm. I was so cool. I was so How cool. How much is this going to do? Death, not enough. I don't believe it. I mean, this is a huge damage burst attack. I've but... never seen this confirmed, so I actually don't know. Best player in Europe. Okay, all right, all right. Much. Still, though, this means that it's within, like, one, like, field phase grab, even. I mean, there is still an attack buff, so obviously there's been a little bit more. Oh, a lot of healing going on here. Just because you know, of the trying to make something happen, not enough. Too much block stun there. Oh, ah, just couldn't get it. Oh, no. Bobby tried. just going to get out of there. Five seconds to go. This is going to be it. Yeah, I don't think they would need a miracle, and that is not the miracle. Oh, Knocked down a little bit too long. Close. Almost got it. So close. You can, you can just see it. Uh, yeah. Good try by Kino, man. I mean, he kept it close, I got to be honest. Yeah, just it close. I mean, just a lot of it was probably just time management in general. But Definitely. I mean, that's just something that happens with Libre. You know, Libre can rush you down in like 20 seconds and you just never get up off the ground. Or sometimes Libre will just run away and it's one of the hardest characters in the game to catch. I didn't even know Fabi used that character. And I mean, it looked really good. <laughs> it looked really, really difficult to deal with. And up next, we're going to have oh Forest and Fosh. So Forest seeing her first top eight at a major. Hmm, yeah, yeah. This is top. Eight. This is a top eight losers match we have coming at you. We have Fosh, a player we have not seen offline at locals in what two years? Uh, I think it's been longer than that. Maybe, well, maybe no, two I, years. I think he maybe did show up to like Switch Fest or something like that. But but at not, locals, uh, I think he still showed up to something.